Hello everyone, this is Tina from Tina's Workshop and today I'm going to show you a really easy peasy way to crochet a hat. And I decided, I've, I've kind of wanted an excuse to try this yarn for a while now. Um, so I thought this would be the perfect uh, project for that. It is the Respun Thick and Quick by Lion Brand Yarns. And it's this beautiful green. I love the green. And it's really nice and soft, thick yarn. It's a number six yarn. Um, so it's a super bulky. And it is 100% recycled polyester. So don't know how they do it, but somehow I don't know if they're using from other fabric and yarns or if it's coming from... Um, well, let's see. Reduce, reuse. This yarn is made from recycled plastic, keeping bottles and other waste out of our oceans and landfills. So it's not being made from other fabrics. It's actually being made from other plastics and stuff. So I'm, it's kind of cool. Again, I still don't know exactly how they do it, but somehow they do. Um, but it's a perfect project for this. And you do not need a pattern. I know that sounds really crazy. Um, you do not need a pattern to do this. However, if you have a pattern, this is also a foolproof way to make that pattern work for you. So we are going to, we've got this yarn. We're just going to go right with what it says on here for our hook size, which is an N. So we're going to use an N hook. And I'm going to put you down on the table and show you what the trick is to making this hat. Okay, so there is a website that I will link below that has these hat charts in. I'm unfolding these because I carry them in my project bags. Um, so they are well used, and I actually have another one in another project that's been used even more than this one. But I've been using these charts for years, and when I printed this, which I'll show you the other one too, because the first one I did, um, it's very, very well used. I, majority of the time when I'm making a hat, I'm either doing a newborn size or just the basic adult woman size. So I actually took and traced the information for just those on this piece of paper. And you can see <laughs> how well used this is. I have used and used and used this. Um, but this is the full chart. And there are sizes from one to two pound preemies all the way up to an adult male. And I went through and I've written the information out on these. And when I printed it, I printed it double-sided. So all the information for the preemie through the two to three two week to three month old newborn is on this one page. The rest of the information is on the back. And from, for this one, it goes from your three to six month all the way up to adult male. So how do you use these? Okay, you work your hat and you're doing, you start at your center and you, you're working it out and you keep working it until you lay it down on the chart size you're working on until it's the right size. Once you hit that right size, you flip it over and you're going to work the length of the hat according to the line that's for yours. Okay, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this and I'm going to work on one that I could potentially wear. Um, so let's see, I've got to find the center of the yarn. <laughs> Hmm. Well, that might be a little bit tougher than normal. Okay, it's always tough, right? Pull from the center, they say. It's easy, easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to have to pull out a chunk, I guess. There's our yarn barf. Okay. 
get this all out of our way so that we don't have a big knot. Fast forward time. Okay, found the center, found the inside. Okay, I'm going to do magic loop, magic ring, whatever. Um, that's just the way I like to start. So start this however you want, but I'm going to start with that. And since we have a bulky yarn, I'm going to do a double crochet. So I'm chaining two to begin with, and we will work 12 double crochet into this ring. Okay, 12. Cinch that down. And we're going to join. And I like to personally join in. Let's see, come on, focus there. I like to go right into that first stitch right there. Oop. And do my slip stitch. Since we're working double crochets, we won't actually need a stitch marker. So there's our first ring. Oop, chain two. Now we are going to do uh, two. We're going to work two double crochets into each stitch around and join at the beginning. And I'm going to join again that top stitch right there. I find it leaves it nice and seamless. Okay, so there's our second round. Now, just for the heck of it, we're going to lay it over here and see that is already at our newborn size. So if we were doing a newborn hat, we would stop right there and we would start working our sides down. But we're not going to. We're going to go up to an adult size hat. So... We still have a little way to go because we're going to not this last line, but the line right before it, which is a 7.5 inch diameter. So we still got a little bit more ways to go. So we are going to chain two and we are going to work a two one repeat. So we're going to do two double crochets in the first one in the next two in the next. one in the next and we're going to continue that pattern all the way around till we meet back up at the beginning
back at the beginning and we're going to join in that top stitch again there's the end of round three now let's see how we're doing hmm we are almost to that line so we don't want it much bigger than that but when we do that next row we're going to be out further so there's a couple things you could do right here you could leave it right here because if you kind of stretch this a little bit you're going to get out to there you could do a single crochet row which is going to show you a smaller flip or because we are almost there you probably only need maybe two more increases so what i think i'm going to do on this next row is i'm going to work one increase at the beginning of the row and one increase halfway through the row which will give it just a little bit bigger as i'm going and then i'm just going to keep working straight so we're going to work our two double crochet i'm going to do my second one right into the base of that like i've been doing at the beginning then i'm going to work over two halfway point so you can see where i'm going to i'm going to come right over here and do an increase there Okay, so here's where I put that marker. So I am going to do a double crochet or do an increase right here. So two double crochets in this stitch. And then I'm going to keep working one double crochet the rest of the way around. Okay, we're going to join. So we have finished the increases that we're doing now. So I'm going to turn the paper over. And now we're going to be looking at these different lines. And again, we're doing one before the end because this is the male adult. We're doing the female adult. And you'll see there's two arrow points on this. In some it shows a little bit more like in this one here you can see the arrow points are have a big difference this one is a little bit different these are very close basically it's just showing you if you want a longer hat or a shorter hat and i usually go for the longer so now we're going to take our hat like this we're going to fold it and we're going to take this spot right here and put it at the top of our arrow and lay it down so we're going to here which is just over halfway right now so we're going to lay it down here and we want to get it to here so we're going to keep working double crochet rows until our folded hat reaches the base here so we're going to do our chain two and we're going to do one double crochet into each stitch around we will join and we will go up another row and we will continue like that until we get to the desired length that we're wanting.
Okay, that's two more rounds. Let's see where we are on the chart. Okay, we still got a little ways to go. Uh, about two or three more rows, and I think we'll be long enough. Okay, two more rows down. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, I figured I'd do one more row, but you can see there's still enough space here. I'm going to do one more row, but you can see your hat shape. Okay, I've come around to that last round and I'm going into that top stitch again like I've done in every round. And you'll notice where I've been doing that, you do not see this line very well. I mean, it's there, but you don't see it as much. It really makes a nice smooth row. So let's see here. Now, we're going to lay it down. And we're right at the bottom. We're right at the bottom of the arrow, so we've got a perfect little hat there. Move this out of the way. So that's the extent of our hat. So we can clip our ends and weave them in. Okay, 
So now I take and I don't, I do not pull that back through. I pull it out like this. So now normally that would, you know, that leaves you this unfinished piece, but you can take that, put it on your yarn needle, and then we're going to go, this is the next, very next stitch right here. We're going to go into that one underneath the two bars. Then we're going to come back down and into that one. And that makes a nice smooth finish there so that the stitches look like they all go straight across. Then you can take and weave your yarn in normally like you would. I'll bring it down to this row and weave it in. And I like to go over and then back the way it came. I feel like that locks it in a little bit better. My own personal preference. I give it a little tug and clip off that end. And we're going to go to the center, weave it in. I like to, even though I worked over that, I still like to go around it at least halfway around. Get it tucked in a little bit more. And then just like the top, I like to go over one and then come back. And I feel like it's, I've never had one come out and I feel like they're secure that way. Put my needle up. Put my scissors out. And there is our completed easy peasy, super easy peasy hat. And that is our super easy peasy hat that took me my recording time that took me about a half an hour to do that really really easy and those charts i found those charts years ago the i am so thankful to the person who made those charts and i will link that below and you can i've used this with you can use it with any yarn any hook any pattern and it will help you make that better um, better hat so you can go completely free form and use, you know, you find a yarn you really like, you don't have a pattern to go with it. You want to do your own thing. You just don't know how to do it. You can do it as long as you use these charts and follow that. But I've had many a times I've gotten a hat pattern I like, and I follow the pattern to the T and it'll be super big or super small. But with this, you can double check that and just make sure everything's right. And it's pretty much foolproof for making your hats and we still have this much of this yarn left i mean there is a lot of yarn in that let's see what the it's got 223 yards and you know that yarn barf i pulled out i probably used about twice that amount because I was probably about halfway through when I used that. So there's still quite a bit here. We could definitely make a scarf if we wanted to, to go along with this or a cowl or something like that. There's plenty here. Or if you're making hats for your family or something like that, you could, I'd say at minimum of three hats, maybe four hats you could get out of this and have matching hats. And let's see, I've got thing up in my hair, but... We'll see how, how it goes. There you go. There's the hat. Even with my poof up there, it's still fitting. It's perfect as far as not being too tight or anything. So now let's see how this goes when I pull this back off. Ooh. So there's our hat. I hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope it encourages you to do hats, especially if you're one of those people that is very discouraged when it comes to hats because you're afraid that you know you just can't seem to get that fit right this really makes a big difference but it's incredibly an easy easy way to do a hat you can do them really quick you know a half hour a hat 
that's really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like, click subscribe, and click notify if you'd like to be notified when I upload. And we'll see you all again soon. Bye.